Well, I think it all started back when um, we first moved back into town. Um, I mean, we hadn't even been in town, you know, three days. And, uh, you know, I'd been doing all this Bigfoot stuff, and there was talk of doing that Journey with Monsters movie. So then all of a sudden, these two cops show up with their guns drawn, walking up my porch. And it was the strangest thing, they're trying to say somebody from inside called 911 um, with a 910 area code, and nobody in that house had a 910 area code. Ours was a 336. So their reasoning for drawing their guns and coming up there was just like warning me for some reason because there would be no other reason for that. Well, then a couple of weeks later, um, I had the Camaro by now, um, and, you know, we're driving the Camaro. I'm, I'm, I found out a junkyard had a better light for the car, so I just was going to upgrade the car. It wasn't nothing illegal on the car, but again, we're on our way to the junkyard, me and Kira, and guess what? Guess what? They pull me over, and they pull me over, and they tell me, they say, uh, I just wanted to pull you over just to check something. I said, well, you're not running my license and tags, are you? He said, no, everything looks fine. This is, I'll be back in a minute. And so he took my license and he went and ran it anyway. He lied to me. But didn't charge me with anything. Again, harassment. And then, and then you know, you know, then there, there's a all this following me, getting up too close to me, backing off. I mean, they would follow me, come up close, and then they'd back off. They're just trying to trick, trap me into doing something, and I wouldn't. But then, but then one day we, you know, we're in a, you know, we have this eighty-some-year-old lady hit runs into our Camaro, runs into the Camaro, um, and uh, you know we think everything's legit. We had a witness that was behind us that saw the lady hit us. The cop took down his information, so I thought he did. It wasn't until I found out when I called to see why the insurance company hasn't contacted me yet. Come to find out, the cop never put the witness in the, in the police report. So basically, they were trying to screw me out of insurance money, so he didn't do it. But then I then I got I luckily I had the the witness's card because I did. Then then I called back, got his sergeant and. I'm pretty sure he got in trouble, but still, again, why would he do that? I mean, what did I do to him to make him want to leave that out of his police report just to screw me over? And then this morning, um, this morning, we're just sitting at a stoplight. We just, you know, the stoplight changes. He's behind me. I watch this cop. He pulls up closer to me, I mean, almost to my bumper, and I, I told my wife, I said, oh, no, here we go. And so I go to turn. Like I mean, I had plenty of time to turn. I go to turn, and he's turning with me with his blue lights on. But you want to know why he did what he said? What he said to me, why his reasoning was for pulling me? Because I'm a North Carolina officer, and I can't. That was his reasoning. Again, I didn't get charged with anything. Again, I think it's a, I just think it's harassment, and um, it, it's getting to the point where you know you you can't even trust any any kind of city cop to get in behind you because you're scared to death they're gonna turn their blue lights on you, and um, but I'm not gonna live in fear, you know.